So that's analytical meditation. Now, concentrative meditation, it starts with learning to focus on the breath. And this, you can think of it as uh, stretching before doing ex physical exercises. So you can use concentrative meditation to calm your mind before doing analytical meditation. And the I, the uh, what you concentrate on is is the breath. Usually, you can choose anything else. But the neat thing about the breath is is that it's always there with you, and you tend to ignore it. And it's interesting to uh, focus on it, and, and well, not not to uh, control it, but to just watch it. So, how do you get into a good meditation posture? There's uh, seven uh, seven points that you want to uh, uh, make sure you go through in this order. Uh, you want to sit cross-legged on the floor. You can sit on a chair, and you can lean against something. You can lay on the floor, but this is preferred to sit cross-legged on the floor. You can have a full or half lotus position, and you can have a cushion. It's good to have a cushion on your buttocks. And you want to keep your back straight with your vertebra one above the other like a pile of coins. Keep your shoulders level and parallel with the floor. Hold your arms slightly rounded and away from your body. With your hands in your lap, palms upward, right on top of the left, tips of the thumbs touching. That's a mudra, a, a, a hand gesture. Gesture. It's called the uh, mudra of, of ekipo, ekipoise, ekipoise, yeah. It, it's also s uh, supposed to uh, alert you that you're, you about fell asleep because when, when you, f uh, when you're about to fall asleep, your thumbs might, might uh, separate and that might wake you up if you notice them falling apart uh, uh, I think it's helped me <laughs> but I tend I sometimes fall asleep anyway uh, and then uh, let's see that's uh, one two three four okay the fifth one I think yeah the fifth one is bend your neck slightly forward with your chin tucked in a little the sixth one close your eyes lightly or open them slightly if you tend to fall asleep with your gaze down the line of your nose and the seventh one is you want to close your lips and teeth lightly with the tip of your tongue touching the roof of your mouth just behind your top teeth that's supposed to help you from uh, swallowing the saliva all the time Okay, so once you're seated comfortably, you want to generate bodhicitta meditation. Motivation. <laughs> Here's how you want to motivate yourself. Why, why are you doing this? You, you, you think to yourself, I am going to meditate and focus on my breath in order to reach enlightenment. But not for myself, but for the sake of for the benefit of all sentient beings. Well, it'll help myself too. Then you bring your attention to your breath, focusing your mind on the entrance of your nostrils. Where you can feel the air entering and exiting your body. You can feel the uh, air going in as it's cool and leaving your nostrils as, it's, as it is warmed by the body you don't want to think uh, I'm breathing I'm breathing or something like that just let go and let it be and, and just pay attention to it uh, if, if you uh, if you wander off thinking about something else or you're worried about something you, you want, might want to uh, count your breaths to as an exercise to have you have your mind more focused on on the action of breathing you can count the first breath 
in and then out as one so you could visualize the number one and, and say one in your mind to yourself and then then on the next breath in and out you can visualize a two and say two and on the next breath uh, count that one three and so on and if you get distracted uh, you, you might uh, want to start back at one you might find yourself not e not counting anymore and, and then you catch yourself not counting and say oh okay I better start counting again so but after a point uh, when you got your uh, concentrative meditation going well you you want to start practicing um, analytical meditation on something something uh, virtuous and uh, like I said uh, there's a uh, graduated path to enlightenment called the Lamrim cycle uh, it's a series of meditations there's 21 of them and you can you can start with that as a subjects or objects of meditation. You start with the first one and go on. Well, you don't want to do them all at once. You want to do one for the whole meditation. And maybe uh, try it again the next day. And do it for a week or a month until you get it. Uh, until you get a, a good understanding and, and then go on to the next one. But you don't have to have perfect understanding. You don't want to do it until until you say, "Okay, I'm I've understood it completely." You just want to do it. Okay, I'm going to do this meditation for a week or for a month or whatever, and then go on to the next meditation and do it for a week or a month. So do each meditation for the same amount of time, not for a week like nonstop, but every every day in that week do that meditation. <laughs> Okay, I hope this helps. So I want to dedicate this uh, lesson to uh, all sentient beings. May they attain enlightenment. Thank you. <laughs>